about to show you a few closey type items that I've bought over the last probably two or so, maybe three weeks. I've been collecting things for Disneyland Paris, our trip that's coming up in December, and also a few things that are just basically Christmas type clothes, like party type clothes. Not really dresses, but just <laughs> party type clothes. We usually have so many parties to attend in December. Previous years we've had a ridiculous amount with school, school friends, um, play groups and then just friends and all sorts of parties like that. Obviously this year there's not going to be as many as Isla doesn't go to any play groups anymore. She is now in full time school. So we have zero play group parties to go to which makes me so so sad. And also we are going to Disneyland Paris in December. We will be away for around, I think it's about 10 days. We also go to, after Disneyland Paris, we go to London. I think we're in London for three nights and we have so much fun planned. But we are away for like 10 days throughout the middle of December. And so the girls are going to miss probably the majority of Christmas parties. However, at Christmas time, you go out for nice meals with family. Um, especially when you go on special days out and things like that and I like the girls to have nice cute new matching smart outfits for the Christmas period so I have been collecting a few little bits I'm not talking big fancy dresses we're in winter and it's cold here in the UK so a lot of the things are with tights and things like that but just just new clothes. I like to have new clothes for the Christmas season. So I'm going to show you one or two things of that and then I'm also going to show you some things I bought for Disneyland Paris when me and Chris went out shopping. I'm going to start with hats, scarves, gloves. I haven't finished this yet but I do have a few things here that I picked up this morning. So Isabel has a black pom-pom hat that she absolutely loves it's got like silver glitter going through it and she has it away with her right now on residential so I can't show you it but if you watch our vlogs you've probably seen her wearing it she loves it so much and she wants to take it to Disneyland Paris I also picked up some of these black gloves these are like the really thick thermal type gloves and as they're black they match her hat so I think she'll really like them inside they're like oh my gosh they actually fit me Inside they're really fleecy and they feel really nice and warm so I think Isabel will really like them because Disneyland Paris in December is so so cold it's absolutely freezing and not only is it freezing but we are out literally from around 8am until 9 or 10pm so we're out in the cold all day and gloves are super duper important because if your hands are cold you're just miserable. Then for Esme and Isla, I picked up them a Shopkins hat when I got Isabel her pom-pom hat. However, I think I'm going to keep those Shopkin hats as school hats. You can never have too many hats. And usually one goes missing, falls off the pram, we lose a glove, so you can just never have too many. And I was looking at hats today in Matalan for Isla and Esme, and I come across these really sweet little sets. So you get a hat, with a pom-pom on which I thought was really nice it has like diamantes on the front too you get some mittens which I thought were really sweet and they are thick which is a good thing and then you also get a scarf so I thought this was so pretty as you can see it's like a creamy white colour and then it has like a mint or baby blue and a baby pink thread running through it with little diamantes all over it these were £10 which I might, I know might sound quite expensive, but considering you get the hat, the scarf and the gloves, it's like really good value. It's like £3.33 each. So I really, really liked that for Esme and Isla. However, they didn't have it in Isla's size, which I was gutted about. So I got Esme aged 7 to 10 years. And then I asked the lady if she could go and check in the back for me to see if they had any in three to six years for Isla and she didn't but she did have this set which actually I think the hat looks bigger on this set than what Esme's does but maybe it's just the shape and this as this one will cover Isla's ears so I got Isla this one it's similar with the pink pom-pom but it's grey and has like a silver thread running through it and I liked the little pom-poms on the bottom of the hat and on the scarf so the same again she gets a hat she also gets mittens, 
and then a nice little thick scarf i like these these sets so much this was also 10 pounds and as you can see inside the hat is super duper thick and fleecy and to be fair as it will go over isla's ears that will keep her so warm so i was a bit gutted i had to get two different sets for them but i'm still super happy i think they'll both really enjoy them they won't get mixed up and yeah really like those one thing I really wanted to tick off of our to-do list this week was footwear for Disneyland Paris because it's super duper important. Footwear is like one of the main things you need to get right when you go to Disneyland. You honestly walk around for around 12 hours every single day for a whole week and it's tiring on your feet, especially the girls. So footwear, it's really important to get waterproof because it rains. It's really important to get warm because it's freezing and cold toes are just not fun at all and i like them to be nice the footwear to be nice so yesterday whilst we were in at crown point in asda i found these these are like frozen themed snow boots on one side it has elsa and on the other boot should i say it has anna they're really glittery on the top which the girls will absolutely love because they just love a little bit of sparkle. Us Ingham girls just love our sparkle. They also have this super cute crown design on the front which is again super duper sparkly. Even the fur has a sparkly silver running through. Another reason why I know the girls will like these boots is because they light up. So these will be so awesome for on an evening when we're watching parades and their shoes are all sparkling and lighting up. So I got Isla and Esme both a pair of these. Obviously I didn't get Isabel a pair of those because number one they didn't have them in her size and number two I think she's a little bit old for frozen sparkly light up shoes. However I will get her some hopefully by the end of this week. It's my mission to get all three girls footwears finished and done by the end of the week they did have some nice black ones with like a big thick foam heel on them which looked so warm and so comfortable that they didn't have Isabel's size so I couldn't get hers yesterday which I'm a bit gutted about but I've still got the rest of the weekend so hopefully by the end of the week I will have finished footwear for the girls I just want to add something which I noticed which makes me love these boots even more is that the laces are not actually laces they're like pretend laces so it's just a stretchy type lace so you can stretch them to put your feet in and then just close that over i think that is legendary i hate when children's shoelaces open they flop around in them and they're in the puddle and they get all soggy and muddy and then they say those dreaded words mommy can you tie my shoelace and then you end up with soggy wet fingers so i am so so glad that these boots don't require tying shoelaces Whilst I was in Matalan today picking up the gloves and the hats and scarves, I saw a dress that really caught my eye for Isabel. It's kind of a more grown up dress and actually I'd quite like it for myself if I was maybe a couple of stone lighter. <laughs> but yeah, I really liked it. I thought it would be super pretty on Isabel because she's got a great figure for dresses like this. And also I bought Esme and Isla a dress a couple of weeks ago in similar colours so I thought she could wear this one with her black tights when the younger two wear their dress. So here it is, it's a pink, black, grey and kind of a peachy colour, spa sparkly, stretchy, mini type dress. I got this in age 13 because I find dresses of this style so short on girls. I don't like to see girls of Isabel's age with really short dresses on. I just it's just not my style I don't like it at all Isabel's 11 and if I bought age 11 there's just no way I would let her wear it and I've recently found that even if I buy age 12 I'm still finding a lot of her clothes just not acceptable in my opinion so I went for age 13 and I think it will sit around her knees so hopefully it's about knee length this was £14 from Matalan and yeah, I just really liked it. I think this will look nice with like black tights and maybe some boots, Chelsea type boots, things like that. And like I say, if it came in my size and I was two stone lighter, then I might even wear it. Then when Isabel wears that, I have also got these for Esme and Isla. They're basically just grey jumper dresses with tights 
and they say little cuties or little cutie on the front of them in like pink sequins so i got these from asta and i like that it's a complete outfit so you already have the tights there's no searching for tights that match and nice for this weather kind of jumpy dress jumper dresses which are really really nice and cozy for this time of year I got Isla it in age three to four. This is from the younger range at Asda, which only goes up to age five to six. So Esme's is age five to six. However, Esme's not small for her age. She isn't small. She's not the smallest in her class. She's also not the tallest. And she does still fit in Asda's age five to six. I do find they come up quite generous in sizing from the smaller range. So Esme has age five to six. Okay, next are these little cute spotty outfits. I will put them to, to one side. I got this from Matalan and I got it for all three girls because I adore matching outfits. I just love them so, so much. And up until the last maybe three or four months, the girls literally wore everything matching because I just think it's so cute. However, over the last few months, Isabel has grown up a lot and really taken an interest in fashion and her own sense of style and things like that which I just think is great and I do want to support her as well so Isabel's been wearing a lot of more grown up type clothes Esme and Isla still match but these every now and again for special occasions and things Isabel doesn't mind wearing the same as her two sisters and especially when the outfits are like this more not really babyish so this is I actually thought this was a shirt but it's not, it's a play suit. So let me see if I can, there you go. So it's shorts, it's a shorts play suit with tights that are on my head, with navy blue tights. And I thought the colors and everything about this outfit just screamed Christmas meal out. Really, really nice. It has a little detachable bow here. I think that's just stuck on with a button. Yes, it is. So you can take that off if you want to, but I think it's cute and really makes the outfit. And then the tights, which just feel really nice and soft. So yeah, I really liked this outfit and I bought it for all three girls. It was, I think it was about 14 pounds. Let's have a look. Yeah, 14 pounds. Also from Matalan, I just love, love, love Matalan for clothes. They do a range in all the girls' size. I think it starts at age four to five, up to age 12 to 13. So at the minute, I can still get all three girls the same. And I got them all this really cute t-shirt, which has motifs on the front. It's kind of a casual type t-shirt, but I just think it would look so nice with like a pair of skinny jeans or something. It has little slits on the side here. And I just like the motifs on it. Is it motifs? Is that what they're called? I think they're called motifs. And it has a watermelon on and loads of cute little badges, which I just thought were adorable. Next up are these super, super soft, thick, cute jumpers that me and Chris picked out in Asda. And these are just going to be so nice and warm and perfect for not only Disneyland Paris, but also the whole Christmas season. So I'll just show you Isla's as it's easier to hold up a smaller one. It's this really, really fluffy, soft material. It's in this really, really nice pink colour. And it has the sparkle, which like you know, we absolutely love. And it's like a, I'd say this is more of a jumper dress actually, because it's quite long. Maybe good with leggings, maybe not tights, but with leggings. And it also has, I don't know if you can see, but it has little cute diamantes on the front, which just make it sparkle and just add that little something extra to a jumper. These are just so, so soft. Isla's was £10, Esme was £12 and Isabel's was £14. It's great in Asda because they do a range also that all three girls can wear, but the price does change slightly, so a couple of pounds difference. Next up are these really, really nice, soft, thick, black I Love Santa jumpers, because who doesn't love Santa? These are not quite as fluffy as the pink ones, and these, I love them so much. And although I don't usually put my girls in black, I do think every now and again it makes a bit of a change, and I do like it. However, I'm not sure this material will go down well with Esme. <laughs> She's so, so fussy with jumpers and things that itch. And I don't know, 
I hope not because they, do, they are really soft but not quite as soft as the pink ones. Anyway, let me show you. They have I Love Santa on the front. They are black, they are fluffy. They also have little bits of also black but shiny running through them to give them like a nice sparkle so i just thought these would be nice again like the pink ones for disneyland paris to just wear as another layer and also throughout the whole of the christmas season isla's was nine pounds esme's was ten pounds and isabelle's was eleven pounds and i swear isabelle's would fit me look at the size on this guys i'm gonna see if this fits me Okay, so this, this actually fits me. This is age 11, you guys. Maybe I should have gone like age nine for Isabel. I actually think those jumpers went up to like age 14 to 15. No, actually, I think they go up to age 16. So age 15 to 16. That one of Isabel's that I just popped on is age 10 to 11. And as I was able to get it on, I mean, I wouldn't say it quite fit. It was a bit snug. But if that, in age 10 to 11 will go on me I think an age 15 to 16 would actually fit me really nice so I think I might go back and get the age 15 to 16 for myself and then I can match the girls these jumpers I'm about to show you are also from Asda but I didn't get them when I was with Chris yesterday I bought them a few weeks ago maybe even three or four weeks ago but I just thought these were really nice and cozy I love the design on them I love the colors and I love that they're kind of old style Christmas jumpers they remind me of the Christmas jumper that like your granny would knit for you or something they're really thick and I feel like they'll be really warm they're definitely not itchy and I just really liked the design of them and I also really liked the colors so I got these for Esme and Isla Isla's was nine pounds and Esme's was £9 too. So both of them were £9. And then as both of those jumpers were from the younger girls range, they only go up to age five to six, I couldn't get one for Isabel. So I picked up this one for Isabel instead. How adorable is that little penguin with that Christmas hat on? That, I will also add, jingles. This is really nice, really thick and soft. And Isabel really likes blue, so. I think she'll really really like this one and then finally for this little Christmassy clothing festive haul I got these outfits from Matalan about a month and a half ago it was literally just as Christmas items were starting to come into the shops actually no there was no Christmas items in any shops except Matalan who had this outfit in and I really liked it I got excited because it was Christmassy and so I picked it up for all three girls so the leggings were three pounds I do have it for all three but I will just show you Isla's because like I said before it's easier to hold hers up so these are just sweet little festive leggings in navy blue they have snowflakes on them and reindeer and like I just said these were three pounds and then to go with them I got these three cute little pug is it pugs I think they have pugs on them <laughs> this just makes me laugh so much you're probably not even going to think this is funny but they say bar humpug on them <laughs> bar humpug <laughs> oh my gosh that's so funny bar humpug <laughs> cute little bar humpug tops <laughs> these were five pounds and they <laughs> I just noticed they say on the bottom Merry Pugmas Merry Pugmas <laughs> These tops bring me way 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 more pleasure than they should do but I just think they are so cute they jingle they have a pug on the front and oh my gosh I just noticed something else it says Pugs and Kisses <laughs> Pugs and Kisses Oh my god, pugs and kisses. <laughs> Bar humpug, pugs and kisses, and merry pugmas. Adorable. That's everything for.
for the girls that's everything clothes wise and Disneyland Paris wise that I have so far like you can see just big jumpers and things that are going to be able to keep them warm whilst we're away on our holidays there is two more things that I bought today in home base whilst I was there having a look at the Christmas things and one is this awesome glass I thought this was a really nice glass I love that it's pink and I just really liked it for Christmas. I'll probably go back and buy another one, so I've got two. These were £4, and they've literally just come into the store today. I asked the lady, and she said they'd just come in today. So I thought that would be nice for moi for Christmas. And then the last thing I bought is probably a little bit indulgent, but it's a Christmas duvet cover. I only bought one. I'll probably give this one to Isla. I do like to get the girls a Christmas duvet cover each year. But this one was just so sweet and I really liked it. They only had two out, so it was either buy one for Isabel and Esme to put on their bunk beds or buy one for Isla. And today I just decided to go for buy one and get it for Isla. I'm not sure if I'll go back and buy two more of the same or if I'll look around and try and get Esme and Isabel a little bit different. One that's a little bit different, sorry. But yeah, I just thought this one was super cute. It's blue, has Santa on the front and some reindeer says Merry Christmas on it and it's reversible too so I'm not quite sure what's on the other side maybe it's just red with snow and dots but I will be putting these on the girls bed obviously when I get Isabel's and Esme's on the 1st of December and then they'll be able to have these on throughout the Christmas season this was £12 which I thought was quite a good price probably not the best feeling of cotton but it's only going to be on for a month. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this little haul. If you have any questions about anything I bought or you need any links or want to know where I bought anything, if I didn't mention it, then just drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you like. Let me know which is your favourite jumper. I think I like... Hmm... I think I like this one just because I managed to get it for all three girls so they'll all match and it's got a sparkle on it and I just love sparkle and it's really thick and really warm I think that's probably my favorite one but yeah which was your favorite jumper do you wear Christmas jumpers at Christmas time because when I was younger I didn't my parents never bought me like Christmas themed jumpers because they kind of saw it as it's a bit of a waste of money you can only wear it in December and I totally totally respect that it is something that you would only wear in December, but I don't know, I just like to, I like wearing Christmas jumpers, so I always get my girls a couple of new ones each year. And that's everything from this haul.